So we've got this infinite series here. And let's see, it looks like a geometric series. When you go from this first term to the second term, we are multiplying by negative three. And then to go to the next term, we're gonna multiply by negative three again. So it looks like we have a common ratio of negative three. So we could actually rewrite this series as being equal to negative 0.5, I could say times negative three to the zero power negative three to the zero power, plus, plus negative zero, or maybe I could just keep writing it this way, minus 0 0.5 times negative three to the first power, times negative three to the first power, minus 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5 times negative three to the second power, negative three to the second power, and we're just gonna keep going like that. And we could just say we're just gonna keep having minus 0 0.5 times negative three to each, or to higher and higher and higher powers. Or we could write this in sigma notation. This is equal to the same thing as the sum from, let's say n equals zero to infinity. We're just gonna keep going on and on forever. And it's going to be this first, it's going to be, you could kind of think the thing we're multiplying by negative three to some power. So it's gonna be negative 0 0.5 five, actually let me just do that yellow color. So it's going to be negative 0 0.5 times negative three, negative, let me do that blue color. So times negative three to the nth power. Here, this is when n is zero, here's n is one, here is n is equal to two. So we've been able to rewrite this in different ways, but let's actually see if we can evaluate this. And so we have a common ratio of negative three. So our r here is negative three. And the first thing that you should think about is, well, in order for this to converge, our common ratio, the, the, the magnitude of the common ratio, or the absolute value of the common ratio needs to be less than one for convergence. Convergence. And what is the absolute value of negative three? Well, the absolute value of negative three is equal to three, which is definitely not less than one. So this thing will not converge. This thing will not converge. And even if you look at this, it makes sense because the magnitudes of each of these terms are getting larger and larger and larger. We're flipping between adding and subtracting, but we're adding and subtracting larger and larger and larger and larger and larger values. Intuitively, when things converge, you're kind of, the, the, each successive term is get, tends to get diminishingly small, or maybe it cancels out in, in some type of an interesting way. But because the absolute value of the, of the common ratio is is greater than or equal to one in this situation, this is not going to converge to a value 